Hi guys, Mark here from Love Darts and today I have a very special video. Target literally sent me these today. This is one day before launch. Now these are the Dimitri Vandenberg Generation 2 darts. You may have seen him using these recently. Uh, quite excited to throw these. They're a Swiss point dart, they're a natural tungsten, they're under 50 mil, so I should be able to throw them. And yeah, I mean, Dimmy's gonna be a big seller anyway, so let's get into the packaging, have a look at these, see what we think. So as always, we're gonna do three from the front, three from the middle, and three from the rear. Now with the dimmies, because they've got a large standard flight, I won't need to change the flights to give it the optimum for me, for my personal setup. I like short stems and large flights, so let's give them a go. Now those who watch my reviews know that I'm not the biggest fan of micro grip. Now on the front, they do have quite a bulbousy kind of nose section with this micro grip, but I actually didn't mind it as much as I usually would do, so. If you're a fan of micro grip, you'll like it. If you're not a fan, it's not as bad as it has been before when you've got a full barrel section which has micro grip all across of it. I think the micro grip section is actually where Dimmy uses for supporting the dart, and the dual ring grip is where he tends to grip it from. It doesn't feel too dissimilar in terms of the grip. We've seen this kind of thing before, but it does feel a little bit more bulbous on that nose section, which is a little bit different. Just the point here, it really makes a big difference if you open up the flight. So if they're sitting a little bit flat, just squeeze them till you get that sort of cross shape more accurately, and it can really make a huge difference. I'm really enjoying these points. The pixel bit at the top is perfect for me when I rest my finger there. The diamond point grip gives it really, really nice stability going into the board. And then if you hold a little bit further down, you've got those even tighter micro ring grips. Really, really nice points, these. Now from the middle. Now the middle is where these feel most comfortable. The dual ring grip is an extremely popular grip for a reason. Chunky ring grips can often feel a little bit awkward, so when you're using dual ring grips, it's actually the thicker gap that gives you more of the grip, but the bit between doesn't make it feel quite so chunky. The dart feels balanced, and I know a lot of players who use dart just like this. Maybe these dimensions will work better for you, maybe you like the styling more, or maybe you're just looking for a bit of a change. Either way, I think these are going to do really well. 
One more throw then from the middle and then we'll move on to the rear. I really wish I threw like Dimmy. I do feel a bit like Dimmy with his darts though. Something about them. Three from the rear. Now this was the hardest section to throw from because you've got that smooth section where the logo is and there's only a few ring grips. I can find it a little bit slippy from the rear so just be aware of that. If you like to feel more tungsten between your fingers rather than having all the fancy cuts then this might be perfect for you. If this had been coated in a, in a colour like a black PVD or something I might have had a little bit more grip and felt a little bit more comfortable but because it's natural tungsten it was slippy near the rear but hey that's what I'm expecting. It's not specifically designed for rear grippers, but like I said, if you want to have no grip there at all, apart from those three little ring bits at the back just to give you a tiny bit of stability, then give them a go. I'd say 0.5 or 1 at the rear. I didn't add it because it's not really a throwing section. So, Dimitri Vandenberg, Generation 2 much more affordable dart at $47.95 and I know a lot of people are going to really really appreciate that price point. It cuts back on all the fanciness that you had in the generation 1 and goes back to the basics which I think is what Dimmy wanted. This dart has a particularly nice front, if you're a front gripper you can really feel that sort of chunky bulb section at the front with the micro grip and it's much grippier than I've tended to find micro grip. The middle section with the dual ring is by far the best grip if you're looking for grip. The rear I found to be a little bit slippy because that's where the logo is, but completely up to you if you want to have a more full tungsten feel or you want those grip cuts. The Belgium colour scheme and style works really well and I think the dart is put together pretty nicely. The points on the dart are a particularly nice finish as well. So guys, Dimitri Vandenberg, Generation 2, what do we think? Now, personally, I think that these are going to sell really, really well. Dimitri's a very popular player, and for good reasons. He's great fun for the sport, very, very good fun. I really would love to interview him, so Target, if you're watching, make it happen. Uh, a natural tungsten dart, Swiss point, not to everyone's taste, but personally, I love the Swiss point system. Being able to change in and out of points, both long, short, grippy, etc. They've got the diamond grip on the front, they've got a micro ring grip, then going into almost a pixelated ring, which is perfect for me when I'm resting my finger there, so I really enjoyed resting my finger on that part. Uh, we've got a little bit of micro grip on the front, dual ring grip, a little bit at the back then for the sort of more natural feel as well, but they're really, really nicely balanced. I think the Belgium colour scheme and everything looks really well, so the dart comes together and it's really well. It's a nice dart. It's one of those tried and tested dimensions as well. It's sort of around the Adrian Lewis straight barrel sort of ring grip style dart. So if you're looking for something a bit new, a bit different, um, that dual ring grip is really nice as well, really comfortable. Um, not too grippy, but at the same time tried and tested. It's it's a very safe bet, but I can understand why he likes them. So, all in all, a nice dart at a great price point, I think, for a player dart, and I'm sure they're going to sell well. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe if you're new to the channel and want to see more from me. It costs you nothing but means the world to me and means that I can produce more content for you, the darts fans. Thanks again for watching, and remember, love darts. Thank you.